Magnesium stearate is in nearly every supplement you take. But what is it? Is it harmful or can it actually help you? Welcome to the Ultra Healthy Now podcast, where your journey to feeling younger, sexier, and more energized begins. Dr. Nicole Srednicki, who specializes in high-performance health, will dive into practical, actionable tips and strategies that can transform your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Join us as we uncover the secrets to living a healthier, happier life, mind, body, and spirit. Because true health, beauty, and happiness start on the inside. Imagine hiring a contractor to build your dream home. You expect premium materials, but instead they show up with cheap particle board and weak nails, all to cut corners and save themselves money. Would you trust that house to stand the test of time? Now apply the same concept to your supplements, the building blocks of your health. Magnesium serrate is one of the most common other ingredients listed on nearly every supplement bottle, including some at Ultra Healthy Human. But what if I told you not all magnesium serrate is created equal? Today, we're going to take a deep dive into what magnesium steroid is, why it's used, and how to tell the difference between the bad stuff that doesn't belong in your body and the clean vegetable-based form that actually helps your health. Hello. And welcome to Ultra Healthy Now, the weekly podcast where we dive into the journey of maximizing your health potential. I'm your host, Dr. Nicole Srednicki, founder of Ultra Healthy Human, where we specialize in high-performance health for high-performance people. Magnesium steroid is in nearly every supplement you take. But what is it? Is it harmful or can it actually help you? And if you do see it on the label, how do you know whether it's safe, clean form, or the cheap, potentially harmful gut irritant. Let's unpack this topic today because knowing the difference could transform your supplement routine. Let me introduce you to my patient, Mark, a 43-year-old tech entrepreneur running a successful software company. Like many entrepreneurs, Mark focuses on the hunt for health hacks to boost energy, focus, and performance. When Mark came to see me, he brought a bag of supplements, everything from nootropics to immune boosters. When I asked him about his health goals, he had all the right intentions. He wanted more energy, better focus, and stronger immunity. But his blood work told a different story. Chronic inflammation, poor nutrient absorption, and elevated liver enzymes. When we reviewed his supplements, I saw a pattern. Nearly all of them contained magnesium steroid but not the clean vegetable kind. Mark's story is a perfect example of why reading the fine print on your labels matters just as much as the main ingredients. His body wasn't rejecting the nutrients. It was fighting against the low quality additives that come with them. So what's the issue? Magnesium stearate is a flow agent. Think of it like the flour that you sprinkle on your counter so that dough doesn't stick. In supplement manufacturing, it keeps powders flowing smoothly into the capsules and it ensures each capsule contains a consistent dose, but not all magnesium steroid is created equal. The low quality version often comes from GMO cottonseed or hydrogenated palm oil. We've had a talk about these oils in the past, (laughs) both of which are known for containing pesticide residues, toxic solvents like hexane, trans fats, and potential gut irritants. The high-quality version, like the vegetable magnesium steroid, is derived from non-GMO plant oils. It's clean, safe, and enhances the quality of the supplement. Now let's look at like real-world dosages. In reality, you get only 4 to 8 milligrams of magnesium steroid per capsule. For perspective, the average person consumes hundreds or thousands of milligrams of steric acid daily from food. The tiny amount in supplements is 800 times lower than dietary intake. Your body naturally breaks it down into two familiar components, magnesium and steric acid, both of which your body knows how to use. So why is this an issue? In your body, low quality GMO Magnesium steroid versions can contribute to leaky gut by irritating the gut lining. 
It can trigger inflammation, interfere with nutrient absorption, and expose you to harmful pesticides and solvents. The good magne- uh, vegetable magnesium stearate uh, supports capsule stability, ensures consistent dosing, uh, and it breaks down into magnesium, an essential mineral that supports heart health, muscle function, and nerve signaling. Steric acid helps to form healthy cell membranes, and it may lower LDL cholesterol. It's a beneficial uh, saturated fat, and it's present in everyday foods like coconut oil, grass-fed beef, and cruciferous vegetables. Now, let's break down some research to differentiate misinformation. According to a study in pharmaceutical research, high-quality magnesium stearate does not block nutrient absorption. In fact, it helps evenly distribute nutrients throughout the capsule, improving bioavailability. And this is the ability for your body to absorb and use these substances within your body. Another study in toxicology confirmed that steric acid, a key component, is safe even at higher doses. The World Health Organization, note, not that we always believe them at this point, uh, classified magnesium stearate as safe at uh, levels used in supplements. Now, online, you'll see exaggerated claims for magnesium stearate, like it coats your intestines like plastic wrap, or it blocks nutrient absorption entirely. And the real issue isn't magnesium stearate itself. It's the source and the quality. So I want to talk about one big misleading study that's often referenced. Um, and it's a it's an infamous study claiming magnesium stearate suppresses T cells, which are crucial for immunity. But here's why this scary headline uh, is not so accurate. The study used genetically modified mice uh, that couldn't metabolize steric acid. Humans do not have this issue. These mice were fed mega doses far beyond what any human would consume. And the study's design is completely irrelevant to typical supplement use. So this also alerts us, you know, when you look at information out there, you know, where is it coming from? How are these studies done? So I just want to take a minute to explain how to evaluate uh, research in short. So, um, you know, what should you ask or what should you look for whenever you see um, studies? Ask yourself these questions. Was the study on animals or humans? What type of magnesium stearate was tested, uh, clean or junk? And how was it administered? Was it injected? Was it taken orally? And were the doses realistic or were they exaggerated? And these types of questions can be applied to other studies. Um, And you always, uh, you know, you always have to kind of expand on your thinking. Without this context, you're not getting the full picture. So now when you're looking at a supplement bottle, how do you differentiate good from bad? Think of it like choosing a business partner. You want someone that's transparent, reputable, and reliable. So look for brands that clearly state vegetable magnesium stearate. So for example, this is one of our supplements at Ultra Healthy Human, um, our Ultra Vitality. When you look at ingredients, you're not going to see magnesium stearate in in like the typically, you know, the main active ingredients, but you have to look at kind of the smaller other ingredients. So this is like how supplement capsules are put together. Um, Within that, you'll see it's very small, but here it says vegetable magnesium stearate. So you want to look for something like that. And things, um, you also want to look for Um, whether the brand has third-party testing. Um, So for example, again, um, on this label, it says GMP certified. So that is a good manufacturing practice. And that's a third-party, just an example of one of the third-party testing. Uh, And the companies that hide ingredient sourcing may have something to hide. So just be aware of that. Um, And you want to focus on maximizing, you know, purity and safety when you're looking at supplements. So I I frequently have been bringing up JFK now because I just love that he is trying to, um, you know, increase awareness of products on the market, some of the health um, issues, concerns, and things that he's trying to change. Um, And while he doesn't directly address magnesium stearate, his larger message is to demand transparency for all consumer products 
um, and this fits perfectly. The right to know what's in your supplements is a fundamental health freedom. Um, you know, as you all know, there's so many products on the market. There's not necessarily a ton of oversight. And so you really should be particular when you're looking at bottles, know what to look for, or, you know, talk to a provider that can help guide you in this decision-making. Um, a tip, think of your supplements like the fertilizer that you put in your garden. If you want vibrant health, you can't feed your body contaminated soil. So let's go through some takeaways. Not all magnesium serrate is bad. The source matters. Vegetable magnesium serrate enhances capsule performance and nutrient delivery versus those GMO and contaminated forms which disrupt gut health and trigger inflammation. Misleading claims often ignore the science and misuse irrelevant studies. Always choose brands that disclose sourcing and prioritize transparency. At Ultra Healthy Human, purity and safety come first, which is why vegetable-based magnesium sterate is used in some of the products. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Ultra Healthy Now. If today's episode sparked your interest in achieving your maximum health potential, especially when it comes to clean supplements, I invite you to contact us or visit us at ultrahealthynow.com. Explore our specially formulated supplements, ask questions, suggest topics for our Ultra Healthy Now podcast, or schedule a consultation. Join us at Ultra Healthy Human, where your health, beauty, and happiness begin from the inside. Visit us at ultrahealthynow.com to start your transformation today. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to the Ultra Healthy Now podcast with Dr. Nicole Srednicki. To discover more, visit ultrahealthynow.com and jumpstart your wellness journey with our 21-day detox program, a total body reset, more energy, better focus, and weight reduction. Our carefully formulated high-quality supplements will aid in a new level of wellness. Don't wait. Unleash the ultra-healthy human within you. At Ultra Healthy Human, Eastern and Western modalities are combined with cutting-edge technology to guide personalized health programs to help you tap into the limitless potential of your mind and body. Because true health, beauty, and happiness start from within. Remember to subscribe, like, and share this episode wherever you listen to podcasts. And before we sign off, I want to make it crystal clear that the information presented here is for informational and entertainment purposes only. This episode should not be considered a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. And while we strive to provide accurate and up-to-date information, the content discussed in this podcast is based on general knowledge and research available at the time of recording. Medical knowledge and guidelines can evolve, and what we discussed may not always reflect the most current research or recommendations. If you have specific health concerns or questions, we strongly encourage you to consult with a qualified healthcare professional or a medical specialist who can provide personalized advice tailored to your unique circumstances. Every individual's health situation is unique and what works for one person may not be suitable for another. This podcast is a presentation of the Rich Dad Media Network.